Hi there, it's Rob from Octopus. Welcome to Octopus Deploy 2018.4. This month, our headline feature is reoccurring scheduled deployments, which was our number four most popular suggestion on our user voice site, and we're very happy to ship it. We're also shipping a new first class AWS S3 step that makes working with Amazon Web Services even easier. Let's get started. I have a local Octopus instance running with a single project called Random Quotes. This is actually a copy of a project that we used in our Octopus 2018.2 release video. In this video, we'll take a look at how our deployment process has got simpler. But before we do that, we'll just jump to our infrastructure page. And you can see we have two environments staging in production, so that's quite simple, but no deployment targets. The important thing here is our accounts. We have an Amazon Web Services account called Developer Playground. If we take a look at that, the only important detail we have here is our access key and our secret key. So this allows us to interact with AWS safely and securely. With that in mind, let's head over to our project and take a look at our deployment process. This is my deployment process as of Octopus 2018.2. So here what we're doing is we're just deploying a web application to Amazon's Elastic Beanstalk service. The first step was to transfer our web apps package to the Octopus server. And that was required because in our second step, we actually copied it to S3. And this was done with an AWS CLI script step. And so that was very handy, but that actually runs on the Octopus server in the context of the AWS CLI. So it needed to be able to access the package. Our final step was to deploy an AWS cloud formation template. And this did the heavy lifting to provision our infrastructure and actually deploy the website. But the great thing is this has become a lot simpler. Through the magic of editing, you can now see our updated deployment process. The first two steps have been replaced with a first class AWS S3 step. If we take a look at our new S3 step, we can see that it's similar to our other AWS steps. It takes an AWS account variable, and that's so that you can control and change it as you deploy through environments. And you specify your AWS region, the bucket name, and then a package that you're going to be copying or uploading to S3. The real power comes when you specify what you want to upload. You can upload the entire package or specific files within the package. So here I've selected my entire package and I provide some options. However, if I selected specific files, I can then specify either a single file or multiple files. And this also allows me to do variable substitution. So this is a very simple and powerful way to get your files and packages into the Amazon ecosystem and the S3 service. In this case, we are uploading our entire package. So if you see our bucket key name here, and I jump back to our deployment process and look at our CloudFormation template step, if we look at our template source, you can see that they do match. We're specifying our bucket and the S3 key name, and they do match. So this now makes it a lot easier to upload files to S3 and interact with them, either from cloud formation steps like we see here, or via AWS CLI script steps, where you can do anything you want in a more custom way. So creating releases here isn't very different from last time, but our deployment process has been simplified, which is fantastic. The unique thing in this release is that we're gonna deploy via what we're calling reoccurring scheduled deployments. So let's head over to our triggers page and talk about them a little bit more. So you can see here that I have a single trigger and it's called nightly deployment for testers. And so that's great where we create a new release and we deploy to our staging environment. That could be a test or a QA environment, etc. But we do that every weeknight at 10 p.m. So the next morning that our testers have the latest code. We also like to deploy on Fridays at 5 p.m. because we're so confident in our code and our deployment processes. So let's go ahead and quickly add such a trigger. So I select scheduled trigger 
and I'm just going to name it ship ship Fridays at 5 p.m. I'm going to select days per week and select Friday. Now I'm going to deploy just once. So every Friday once at 5 p.m. I'll change the start time 5 p.m. I'll select my time zone. And so now the trigger action, I'm going to deploy the latest release. We're assuming that the latest created release that's in that environment is stable. So now I can just say what's my source environment is staging and my destination is production. And if I need it, I could add a few variables to be overridden here, but I don't need to do that. So with that in mind, I'll just click save. Imagine we've had a really busy week and we've done a lot of great work and a lot of deployments to our staging environment. Now, if we take a look, we can see version 1.1.5, and this is our latest stable release in the staging environment. Now, it's Friday and it's nearly 5 p.m., so this is the release that's going to be deployed. So if we just give it a minute, our scheduled deployment should automatically deploy to production. So our deployment was successful. Now, if I head over to AWS quickly, I can see my staging and my production environment. If I select production, everything looks successful here. If I click my web app, you can see version 1.1.5 is running in production. And if I click the refresh button, I can get some great random quotes. I'd like to summarize what we've seen today. We automated the deployment of a web app, deploying to AWS by first copying our packaged application to Amazon's S3 and then deploying it using a CloudFormation template. The addition of our first class S3 step makes this much, much nicer. We also saw how we can create reoccurring scheduled deployments to deploy our apps whenever it makes sense for your own teams. This can range from nightly deployments for QA the next day, or deployments once a week at a specific time. This was a highly requested feature, and it's finally here. Thanks for watching. Links for all the resources used in this video are in the description below, including a link to start a free 45-day trial of Octopus Deploy. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel as we're adding new videos weekly. Happy deployments!